Hinkley Point Nuclear Power Station on the Bristol Channel. This is the 275 kV substation, handling enough electricity to run a city half the size of Bristol. It's live and running at 275,000 volts. But unless action is taken immediately, this substation is about to fail. Salt blown off the sea is building up. It's forming an invisible layer on the brown porcelain insulators. It's going to cause a flashover. An electrical spark will leak from the live bars to the ground. The flashover will shut down the substation. Making sure this doesn't happen are Frank, James and Pete. Their job is to clean the salt from the substation without closing it down. Now, we all know you shouldn't mix electricity and water, but these three men are about to squirt lots of water at a live electricity substation running at 275,000 volts. It's imperative that we keep the insulators clean. Those insulators are the brine porcelains that you see suspending the buzz bars. We're right near the coast, uh, off the Bristol Channel here. We get a lot of salt pollution, and that salt pollution builds up and uh, the one thing that we do not want, we can ill afford, is a flashover. So this is why we're carrying out this water washing. Because this is a genuinely risky operation, it's vital all parties at Hinkley Point agree that it's safe to proceed. Hey, Mr Thompson. Frank needs to get formal permission to proceed with the wash. Well, that's giving us permission now to wash. So it's under our control now. Washing a live substation can cause a dreaded flashover, so they try to reduce the risk. The man at the sharp end is Pete. Yeah, it's going to be coming out about uh, £80 per square inch. Um, yeah, under 275,000 volts. As he washes, Pete will stand on an earthed platform. You've got the earth cable going under the earth. The jack comes out for the, the front. This is uh, just applying the earth now, um, which goes from the monitor, and it goes on one of these strips of what we've got going down for the entire substation. So that just clamps on. One further precaution, the gloves. Um, well, they're 1,000 volt gloves. Um, so obviously it protects you at 1,000 volts, but apart from that, not a lot more, really. With his 1,000 volt gloves on, Pete's ready to wash. I've got to give a signal to Frank. When I give him the signal, you turn the water on, and then we've got to wait for the, the pipes to charge. I get the indication on the gauge that we're up to the correct pressure, and then I can start washing. When the pressure reaches 80, Pete will send a jet of water onto the live 275,000 volt conductor. At Hinkley Point Nuclear Power Station on the banks of the Bristol Channel, the cleaning team is about to mix salt, water and an awful lot of electricity. They're cleaning the live 275,000 volt substation that connects the power station to the grid. Salt blown from the sea lets the electricity flash over to the ground. If that happens, the substation shuts down. The invisible layer of salt has to be washed off. OK, so I'm going to give a signal to Frank. Standing on an electrically earthed platform, Pete waits for the water pressure to build up. So the gauge is up somewhere between 80 and 100 pounds per square inch. It's on 80 now, so I can start. Pete's starting to wash. He does it in a certain sequence. Uh, it's imperative that the overspray goes onto clean insulators. That's just a bit of air in the pipe, that's nothing to worry about. Pete's checked the wind direction so that spray from the wash only blows onto insulators he's already cleaned. If it landed on salt-covered insulators, the spray would become salty and dangerously conducting. The water that's jetting out of there is coming out of a pressure about 80 psi. And with the nozzle, it's all been calculated that it forms very fine droplets. With the water in separate droplets rather than a continuous jet, it's harder for electricity to track back to Pete. This prevents Pete from getting a flashover back to him. It's, this is absolutely critical and part of the safety checks and monitoring that Pete has to do whilst he's washing. 
and then we're coming on to the earth end and we're going on to the live end at 275,000 volts. For most of us, squirting salty water over a high-end electrical installation would be a high-tension activity. For the Hinkley Point team, it's become a regular appointment. Well, it's done on a routine basis throughout the winter months between November and March. We tend to do this washing once every week. But in the summer months, the problem doesn't seem such a big issue. So it's done once every two weeks. And time has taught us that that seems to be about the right level of washing that's required. The wash appears to be safely underway, but conditions can change unexpectedly. The conductivity of the water is monitored and it's being constantly monitored. If the conductivity, that means the purity of the water, falls below a certain level and it becomes too conductive, the procedure stops. You've got a 15 second uh, time frame. You'll get an alarm, you know then to stop washing and the pumps will then shut down automatically. In addition to that, the pressure at which the water is delivered at 80 PSI must be maintained. If that drops off, again, the, the whole system will shut down. The 275,000 volt substation wash is nearly finished. Over two days, the team has used thousands of litres of water to safely remove salt from the electrical systems. But the power station is not yet safe. Next door is a second substation. It is also caked in salt from the Bristol Channel and must be cleaned. But this one runs at 400,000 volts and is far too dangerous for the team to wash. At Hinkley Point Electrical Substation, the veteran cleaning team of Pete, James and Frank is well underway with the water wash. They're washing salt from the vital insulators and jetting water directly onto the live 275,000 volt conductor. These guys have done a great job. It's taken two days to wash this substation. They've washed 250 stacks. This means that this site will run safely and reliably for the next couple of weeks without any problems. But now they must turn to the 400,000 volt substation. The higher voltage means it's even more likely to flash over when electricity flashes to the earth like a mini lightning bolt. But the extremely high voltage would make a manual wash far too dangerous. We can't manually wash here, it's just not safe to do so. We've got an automatic water wash system that runs totally independently, requires no manual input and it can operate any time and it makes a decision when it needs to wash. At the heart of the system is an automatic pollution monitor. A section of insulator has been hanging in the salty wind. Now it's going to be tested. This is one of two pollution detectors. This is known as the west zone pollution detector. The other one's on the east side of the substation. This is picking up the deposits of salt that have blown across from the channel. Once it reaches a certain level, it will initiate a wash. There's no manual intervention. It's all done automatically, any time of the day any day of the week. Unlike a manual wash, this system can run every two hours, day and night. And if a 400,000 volt flashover does happen, there won't be a man on the receiving end. Hinkley Point Power Station uses the sea for cooling water, but that puts its substations in the way of the salty air from the Bristol Channel. So, for over 25 years, Frank and the team have been doing something you should never do at home, mixing electricity and water to keep the power flowing smoothly.